In this video, we will solve a problem on how to find the points of maximum and minimum of a function in the point of inflection. The question is, given a function is y is equal to x cube minus 12x square plus 36x plus 8, we are supposed to find out the points of maximum and minimum of this very function and the point of inflection, okay? So what we have been given, we have a function y is equal to x cube minus 12 x square plus 36x plus 8 okay now uh, to find out the points of maximum and minimum first we need to find out the first derivative of this function okay so first step will be to find out the first derivative of this function so we first find out dy upon dx of this very function the derivative of this function with respect to x and we set it equal to zero then okay so let's first find out dy upon dx derivative of x cube is 3 x square minus derivative of 12 x square is 24 x simple thing by power function rule 2 becomes coefficient and exponent is subtracted by 1 plus derivative of x is 1 so we are left with 36 and derivative of a constant is 0 and we set it equal to zero okay so first step is to find out the first derivative and set it equal to zero which implies 3x square minus 24x plus 36 is equal to zero here this 3 24 and 36 are all divisible by 3 so let's divide both sides by 3 we will get x square minus uh, 8x uh, plus 12 is equal to zero this is a quadrating quadratic one and we can solve this by separating the middle term and we can write x square my in place of minus 8x i can write minus 6x minus 2x plus in place of 12 i can write minus 6 and i have explained it how we do this minus 2 and it should be equal to zero it is very simple what we do in the quadratic function to split uh, using the middle term. So we should get the sum of two numbers as minus 8 and the product of same two numbers should be equal to the constant term which is 12. You know by trial and error we can see when we write here minus 6 and minus 2 comes out to be minus 8 and minus 6 into minus 2 is plus 12. Okay minus into minus is plus here. This is how do we do this. this. So let's factor out x from the first two, uh, you know, terms. We will get x, uh, x minus 6, and let's factor out minus 2 in the last two terms. We will be left with x minus 6, and we set it equal to 0. Let's take x minus 6 common. We will be left with x minus 2, and we set it equal to 0. There are two things. Either, either x minus 6 is equal to 0 which will imply x is equal to 6 okay or x minus 2 is equal to 0 which will imply x is equal to 2 so we got two pointers here where the slope of this function is 0 and it would be better if i draw a simple graph here to make more sense so let us say we have this kind of function and let me draw the graph of this function like this okay let us say this is this function y function okay we have x here and we have y here so what does this tell it says that x is equal to 6 and x is equal to 2 there are two pointers where the slope of the function is equal to 0 now to find out which of these two points is maximum we need to check out the second derivative okay first derivative test is only used for uh, seeing the points where slope is equal to 0 here you can see the slope is equal to 0 here the slope is equal to 0 okay but second derivative is used to find out the condition whether the point where the slope is equal to zero is either minimum or maximum so let's take the second derivative so this is the first derivative now let's take the second derivative d square y upon dx square 
okay this is the function derivative of x square will be this is the first derivative second derivative will be the derivative of the first derivative so derivative of x square is 2x so 2 into 3 is 6x 6x minus derivative of x in the 24x will be 1 so you'll be left with 24 and derivative of where constant is obviously 0 so we will not write that very stuff okay so we got the second derivative now we need to check these pointers as the second derivative okay and see their sign uh, basically so d square y upon dx square let's take this x uh, is equal to 6 first when x is equal to 6 so let's plug x is equal to 6 in place of x in the second derivative so we have 6 in place of x we have 6 minus 24 which is 36 minus 24 which is 12 which is greater than 0 okay so when the second derivative comes out to be positive we say the function has minimum at that very point okay since the sign of second derivative is positive okay we say that this point x is equal to 6 is a minimum point okay where the function reaches its minimum so let us say this point you notice this so here you can see slope is equal to 0 and second derivative simply is this you know the slope of the slope here you can see when it reaches minimum then slope increases that means slope is uh, uh, rather what we say when it reaches minimum after that the this curve is upward sloping okay so this second derivative simply tells us that this point x is equal to 6 is, is actually the minimum point because the second derivative comes out to be positive and by symmetrical you know logic let us find out d square y upon dx square when x is equal to 2 okay we have two points we need to check so we have 6 in place of x we have 2 this time minus 24 which comes out to be 6 to the 12 minus 24 which is minus 12 which is less than 0 okay so when x is equal to 2 the slope of the function is 0 okay and when we you know put x is equal to 2 into the second derivative we got a number which is negative which is less than 0 and we can say that this x is equal to 2 is actually the maximum point after reaching maximum the slope is downward sloping okay though rather the curve is downward sloping so simple thing first derivative is used to find out the points where the slope is equal to 0 and second derivative is used to find out whether the point is at minimum or at maximum okay if second if second derivative comes out to be positive okay the corresponding point will be the minimum point if second derivative uh, uh, comes out to be second derivative comes out to be negative corresponding point the critical point will be the maximum point okay we can say that when x is equal to 2 y reaches uh, to the minimum okay so when x is is equal to 2 okay this y reaches to the maximum y is maximum and when x is equal to 6 y is minimum okay now the uh, another part was to find out the point of inflection okay what is the point of inflection inflection and let me rub this out the point where the function or curve changes its concavity or convexity okay is called the point of inflection point of inflection point of inflection okay the point where the the point on a curve where the function or curve changes its concavity if it is concave then the point of inflection is only that very point where it changes from concave to convex or con from convex to concave 
and it is being found out simply we set d square y that in the second derivative dx square which we calculated as 6x minus 24 and we set it equal to 0 okay to find out the point of inflection we simply put second derivative equal uh, we equate the second derivative with 0 to get the corresponding point of inflection that means 6x minus 24 is equal to 0 6x is equal to 24 which gives us x will be equal to 24 divided by 6 which comes out to be 4 okay so when x is equal to 4 let us say this point is this when x is equal to uh, you know 4 the curve changes its nature from being concave uh, from concave to convex okay so point of inflection is a point where the curve changes let me show it here if we have this kind of function okay so here you can see this is concave thing up to this then it becomes convex okay the point where it changes its concavity is called the point of inflection and at the point of inflection the second derivative is equal to zero i hope i make myself clear in this video thank you